Welcome back everybody. So the last video, uh, in the last video, we talked a little bit about how to use variables and also loops and variables in order to simplify repetition that might occur in your code. Today we're going to look at one more way to simplify our code even more, even more by using an idea of uh, something that goes by a few different names. It can be called a subroutine, a function, a procedure, or in the case of Xcode VR, it's called uh, a custom block or my block. And so we're going to make uh, our own blocks today to help us again further simplify this process. So uh, in the last video I started showing you some code and was hinting at that I wanted to draw a pentagon. Um, but what I showed you was that just what I was throwing into the code wasn't working. And so uh, when I did get it working I added in a command that drove the robot forward a little bit and then started actually drawing the pentagon. And that made it so that the entire pentagon fit on the screen. And so you can see that code here right now. Um, and so this is the, the working code uh, that draws that pentagon. And what I'd like to do is show you how we can actually turn this into um, a custom procedure so that we can use it um, in different situations. And it becomes as easy as saying, I know that this code draws a pentagon. And so any time that I want to draw a pentagon on the screen, I just have to call this code. And then I don't have to repeat everything a bunch of times. It's not necessarily the same as a loop, uh, but it's, it's another way to kind of organize your code to say, this piece of code draws a pentagon. And so anytime you want to draw a pentagon, instead of having this large chunk of code that draws the pentagon, I'm just going to call this uh, procedure which has a, a name um, of drawing a pentagon anytime I want to do it. This is very abstract so let's actually get to doing it. This is the code uh, that runs that will actually draw the pentagon. So you can see it here. I'll, uh, I'll run it so that you can actually see it in action. Here we go. And what we talked about last time was because we have stored this, uh, this length of the sides of the pentagon in this variable, if I wanted to make this a larger pentagon, I only have to change this in one place. And then we can run the code and it will draw a larger pentagon. Okay, now I know this code is working. I know it's really good. So what I would like to now do is take this working pentagon code and put it into a block. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to my blocks. I'm going to make a block and I'm going to call this this block or this subroutine make pentagon. Wow, poorly typed. Pentagon. There we go. And uh, we'll talk about what these do in a little bit. We're just going to leave it as make pentagon for now. Okay, now uh, let me hide this for a moment. I know that this code right here is what works for making my pentagon. This code drove my robot forward a little bit before it started drawing. Um, so I'm going to leave that out and just say that anytime I want to make a pentagon, I'm going to set the length, I'm going to set the angle, and then I'm going to go through this process in order to actually draw it. So I'm going to pull this over here and uh, just kind of put it to the side because I, uh, I now know that this is working code. And in place of putting all of that code in, I'm just going to call make pentagon. Let's sort of organize this. Let's show this again. And here we go. Let's put that down there. All right. Um, so there's our make pentagon code. There's our grid. OK. And let's run it. So it reset, and it drives. So it's driving forward 500. And now it's actually in the Pentagon code. OK, now, why is this helpful? Well, because I have packaged all of this Pentagon making code inside of this, uh, this block, in order to make a new Pentagon, it's as easy as just calling it again. Um, so what I could do is I make this pentagon and let's say maybe from that position 
I uh, drive forward 200 millimeters, and then at that new point, I want to make another pentagon. So I don't need to write any more code. It's all just there, ready to go. Um, so with all of that, I'll move this out of the way, because I know it's working. Just slide this over. Let's see. There we go. OK. Great. And move this. There we go. OK. So let's run our code. Okay, so first pentagon is done. We're gonna drive forward 200. And now we're gonna draw a pentagon a second time. And so you notice the code is staying pretty well organized. I don't need to, again, have another loop in there. Makes it really, really nice, all right? And I could just drive all over the place and make pentagons um, as much as I want, okay? Now, both of those pentagons have the same side length. And so let's say I, I, I am really happy with this, and I am, but let's say I wanna make it so that when I make a pentagon, at the time that I run that code, I want to be able to say how big it is. And so this is the concept behind a parameter to our block or a parameter to our function. So we've already made this make pentagon block. Let's make another function, uh, very similar. I'm gonna make a new one. Let's see, can I, no, I'll just make a new one. And so this time I'm gonna call this make pentagon with uh, length, okay? And this time I'm gonna include an input and I'm gonna call this input side length. Now, much of my code is gonna be very, very similar. Okay, there we go. So, I'm gonna pull this off, I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna slide it over here, and then reconnect it. There we go. Okay, now, uh, it's the same code. Let me delete this part as well, because I don't need that. Not exactly sure what I did wrong. Um, but here's what's gonna be different. So, I'm going to make it a requirement that when you call this function, when you include this, you have to tell the function what length you want to use for the side. And then we're going to call the exact same code, but the length that is used in this code is going to be set equal to whatever this is set equal to. Everything else, exactly the same. Um, let me just clean this up. We don't actually need these either. So. That is the only difference. Everything else is the same. Now, with this, it is gonna look a little bit different when we call this. So instead of just making a pentagon, when we call this, I'm gonna say, I wanna make a pentagon, but I'm gonna make it a smaller one. I wanna make the side only 200. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, first pentagon down. Drive in 200, and now it is drawing a smaller pentagon where each side is 200 millimeters. So there we have it, okay? And so now I can choose how big I want that pentagon to be. I could even make it so that um, I draw a whole bunch of pentagons, and I make it so that the side length changes each time. Um, so instead of, instead of all of this, I could make it so that I put this inside of a loop and I draw, uh, draw something. Um, I draw a pentagon with side 200 and then I go back to my starting point and then I draw one 300 and then I draw one with 400. Again, changing the side length by uh, 100 each time, for example. So I know that all of this is working. I'm gonna run the same thing. And let's just pull this off. Let's make a new variable. And I'm gonna make this variable, let's, uh, let's, let's make it length. So let's, let's use, let's go back to this idea of, um, now let's make a new variable. We'll say current length. Um, because length is gonna be changing quite a bit. So I'm gonna make this current length. 
I'm going to start it at 100. I'm going to make a pentagon with length of current length. And I'm going to put all of this inside of a loop. So make pentagon with length. Let's put that here. Put this inside. And let's make this 5. Okay. So make pentagon with length, current length. And I'm also going to change current length by 50 each time. So we'll do this. Uh, let's change it by 50. And we'll go five times. So um, all of this other stuff is still running. Just gonna, we still have our make pentagon subroutine. We have our make pentagon with length subroutine. Those are all there, those blocks. And now I'm saying I want to repeat this. Current length is initially 100. Draws a pentagon with length 100. And then it's going to add 50 to 100 to 150. It's going to make a pentagon with length 150. Then it's going to make it 200. Oh, I have made a mistake. So this should be current length by 50. Let's try this out. All right, so a teeny tiny pentagon. There's the first one. And now current length is 150, so it makes a larger one. So now we've drawn five pentagons, and you can just see that uh, the code required to do this hasn't gotten much more complicated. Um, so to summarize for today, we have created a block, a procedure, a function that does a specific task. We have talked about a, a creating a function which has a parameter that can be used within that task to change what it does. So for example, we can tell this block how big we want to draw this pentagon. And it will just go through and draw that pentagon following our instructions. And we've shown how we can use a, uh, a function, a block, a custom block, um, to call it here inside the main code. Um, so your task for today is to look at either your code or the code of somebody else and create one block, one custom block uh, with no parameters, so a custom block that just uh, does one task, and also create a block that has an input, a parameter, um, and uh, use it somewhere in your code to further simplify what it is you've done. Great job. Thanks for hanging out today. Good luck.